Today, we're gonna to be walking through your last opportunity to buy a brand new Dries Custom Home here in Harper's Preserve. This is the Eastland 2 floor plan, just over 4,500 square feet. You've got four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms, and it is a stunning home. This isn't a spec home, by the way. This was a custom build for one of their buyers who unfortunately couldn't move forward with the purchase which is really bad news for them because they did a great job designing this home. So you're in for a treat. There's very thoughtful designs. There's some unique touches to the upgrades. So I can't wait to show you guys. Up front, you've got the one of two bedrooms downstairs. So this is the guest bedroom. You got this huge window letting in so much natural light into this room. It's got its own ensuite with a really nice custom shower. So you've got this really great neutral gray tile surround. And then you look down and there's just these bursts of white, gray, and black. Love the hexagon shape. It's such a fun little shower. And a great thing about this floor plan too is every single guest bedroom has these large walk-in closets. So there's just so much storage space for you know, whoever's staying here, family members, friends, guests, they, they've got plenty of room for their things in these guest bedrooms. The flow is great on this home as well. So you've got this great little entrance area leading you into the living room with these really tall ceilings. Absolutely beautiful, looks right into the kitchen, you got that beautiful wood beam, cathedral ceilings. Oh, I just, I love this floor plan so much. I love what these buyers have put into this home. The kitchen also has some really great custom features to it, which is a really good thing about Dries, is they're one of the few builders where you could make custom structural changes to their floor plans. So these buyers, they put in these floating shelves. They raised that backsplash up to the ceiling. They put in these really great glass inserts, a custom vent hood. You got this uh, pot filler, beautiful. Six burner stove top. Right next to it in one of those drawers is actually a spice rack. So there's so much you can do with these Dries homes because they give you that freedom to make these little small personalized touches. Great apron sink, you got that big faucet, so ton of room, ton of prep work here in this island. These beautiful classic pendants. I just, I love this floor plan. I love this kitchen. You got this great contrast between the white and the black, and then it's neutralized by this beautiful light wood flooring. Back here, you've got kind of a, I guess it would be like a mini butler's pantry, but there's so much storage, so much countertop space. And then to your right, you've got what they call a working pantry. So you walk in, it's super deep. You got all this space, but why they call it a working pantry is off to your left. And each of these little cubbies, you've got outlets so you can actually plug in some of your smaller appliances keep them out of view but still be able to use them back here the entrance to the garage but you've also got this amazing mud room they put in this custom shiplap design they've painted it black it is really neat because usually when you see shiplap it's just white so they painted it black it looks amazing you got this beautiful design on the tile flooring you got your washer and dryer hookups, and the buyers put in this pet washing station. So if you've got dogs, I mean, this is a perfect space to be able to give them a quick little bath before you head into the house. And again, a lot of these darker details that really make it stand out compared to what you typically see in like an inventory home. Back here, you've got what they're doing now. A lot of these builders is a casual dining. So not a full on formal dining space. It's still open to the rest of the floor plan, but it's still big enough to be able to put a nice size table here and have a family dinner. You can sit out there and look at, you know, keep an eye on the kids as they're playing in the backyard. Back here, you've got this neat little flex area. Uh, you use it as a, a game room or a second office. 
Again, you got this wall of windows looking out into your backyard. It's letting in so much light into this space. Then you got the half bath over here, which is perfect because most floor plans, you're gonna get one half bathroom and it's gonna be closer to the living room. But they've got this half bathroom right outside of your media room. So if you're having a, a movie night, your guests, your family members, they don't have to go far if they need to use the restroom. So comment below, let me know what you think about this floor plan so far. What has been your favorite feature on this Eastland 2 floor plan? Outside, you've got this really huge covered patio with these great cathedral ceilings. Keep it on with that contrast between the light and the dark, even outside, that is such a great touch to the design. Uh, really sad for these buyers. They weren't able to purchase this home, but if you love it, let me know. This is such a great house. You've got a gas stub out and water lines. You can build out a dream kitchen back here. A lot of my buyers are looking for something like this. They want a large covered patio. They want that outdoor uh, fireplace because they love spending time out here and entertaining their guests outdoors. Let's head across here to probably one of my other favorite features of this home. So you got this really neat wine bar, completely custom. So they've got glass front doors on the upper cabinets. There's slanted wine shelves. There's a stem rack, space for a 24 inch wine fridge, beautiful coloring in here as well. And then you got this really neat glass surround. So it keeps it private, but it still opens it up and just makes it kind of that, that feature that draws your eyes to it to kind of show off your wine and show off your spirits. Back here is the primary bedroom. You got a really great space back here, large windows, again, looking out into that backyard, tons of natural light that are just flowing into this room. You got these great slanted ceilings that just kind of opens it up even more and then just wait until you get into this bathroom and there's something special back here for you guys. So really neat barn door entrance. You got this freestanding tub, dual vanities, large mirrors. So there's, there's no fighting between who gets this space. Like there's so much room in here for everybody. I love this tub. I love that tile surround that they got around it, that dark veining. Again, this contrast is just absolutely perfect. I love the shower too. It's not a huge shower that you would expect for a custom home like this, but it's still a pretty good size. You got that zero entry, so you don't have to step over anything, which is great. Beautiful floor to ceiling tile surround. And a lot of my buyers, they're concerned about some of these newer shower uh, features. And you don't have to worry about water getting out because you can see right there, you got that lip. So the water does stay contained even though it is a zero entry shower. So you got a good news there. Now, I don't normally show off the actual water closets, but this is actually a really good space. You're not gonna feel claustrophobic whenever you're using the restroom here. So, so let's head into the closet now and there's so much space in here. You've got tons of room for your clothes, your handbags, your shoes. You've got your own private laundry hookups. So there's actually two laundry hookups in this house. You got your main one by the kitchen and garage, and then you got the private one here in the primary bedroom. Now, when I was saying earlier, Dries is one of the few builder, builders that allows you to do custom structural updates. And that's what this room is right here. The buyers wanted this to be their personalized workout room. You've got plumbing for a sink to your left. You got a toilet here. This is a great space because I see it all the time where we're looking at listings or you're going and taking a look at houses and one of the bedrooms has been turned into a workout room or part of the garage is being used as a workout room. So if you're looking for a dedicated space for your home gym equipment, that's it right there. So let me know what you think. Comment below if you would buy a house if it had a dedicated workout room, not a guest bedroom that was turned into a workout room, not part of the garage, but an actual dedicated workout room. I would love to know your thoughts on that. 
So this floor plan is standard as a one story, but they did add in a second floor on this one. But we're gonna check out the front office here. So you got these really beautiful black French doors, tall ceilings. I love that chandelier. You get that great shiplap accent wall. And then you look out and you see the private gate. And that was my favorite thing about this street. Lake Palmetto Drive is the only street in Harper's Preserve where each home has their own private gated entrances. So it's absolutely fantastic. Great under, uh, under stairs storage. There's a lot of room here. And then you've got the second half bath right up front. This is what I was talking about earlier where most floor plans that have a half bathroom, it's gonna to be towards the front of the house. This one, you've got this half bathroom towards the front, but you've got that secondary one in the back that's right next to the media room and that flex space. So your guests don't have to go too far to be able to use the restroom. I love the contrast between this light wood and these matte black balusters, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so there's really not much up here other than the bedrooms and a couple of bathrooms. Um, the way the Eastland 2 is normally, the, the standard floor plan, it's a single story. And downstairs where you had that flex space and the media room right off of the kitchen, that's where the third and fourth bedrooms typically are. And then where these buyers put in that custom home gym, that's where the media room typically is. So you got those French doors leading you in from the foyer. They've walled that off. They moved the two bedrooms upstairs. They moved that media room to where one of those bedrooms used to be and then just created a flex space for the other bedroom. So they did a lot of work to this home. They customized it to what fits their family and their lifestyle. But if you love the Eastland too, and maybe you wanna do something a little bit different, there are a handful of communities in the Houston area that offer this floor plan. Audubon, the Highlands, Meridiana, and Fulbrook on Fulcher Creek. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Would you buy this house as is, or would you wanna build it and maybe do something a little bit different? I would love to know what you're thinking as you walk through the Eastland too. So this home is located in Harper's Preserve, which is in Conroe, Texas. We're east of I-45, right off of 242, and it's such a convenient location. There's an HEB and tons of shopping and fast food right outside the entrance of the community. There's an on-site elementary school, which a lot of my buyers love having. They love looking in the neighborhoods that are gonna have those on-site elementary schools. And they're also looking for safe, family-friendly neighborhoods and places with a lot of things to do. And you're 10 minutes from the woodlands and all the shopping and the hospitals. So yeah, this, can, this location is absolutely phenomenal. So if you're looking for something like that for your family, you gotta check out Harper's Preserve. 